Well, the easiest thing you could possibly do is you can start to follow your customers. So if you're a B2B organization, you're an association that represents businesses, you go to their Facebook page, you go to their Twitter account, and you like them or you follow them. Many times, uh, often than not, they're going to reciprocate that and start to follow you. That's a very easy way to get some of the traffic going. If that doesn't work, you can start privately messaging them. So whether it's on social media or you as an executive picking up the phone and saying, hey, Bob Smith, CEO of X Association, you know, it'd be great if you put me in touch with your head of communications or your community online manager so we could talk about ways that we can partner and spread your message as well as ours together. Sure. When you look at the success that you've had, especially in building your echo chamber and, and growing your, uh, your Facebook fans from just 300 to 10,000, what was the game changer? What driver or what two or three drivers really made that happen? You know, I'd say the biggest thing is to think about it in the world of uh, a print medium. So the best newspapers are the ones that have the best content. Same is true for online. So we changed what we're sharing and how we're sharing. We were sharing our press releases and some information sporadically. Sure. Instead, we looked at how our competition was doing it. Our largest competitor was sharing about three or four posts a day. So I said, I'm going to start posting at least six to eight times a day. Uh -huh. I'm going to start following what people are most interested in. The great thing about social media is you have real-time feedback. You can see what people are liking, what people are commenting on, and what people are ignoring. And once you learn that, you can then reciprocate further and continue to show that content uh, a bit more. The other thing I love doing in social media is uh, having some personification. Mm -hmm. Most organizations, whether it's a B2C or a B2B, you represent people. That's the whole thing about mm -hmm. associations. You have the opportunity to share via these online channels pictures of yourself with different executives, your executives out and about, whether it's on a lobby day or at a customer visit, mm -hmm. having their face on your social media channel helps you, it, it helps them, and it helps the industry because it shows what you're doing and it humanizes the effort. 